Hi and welcome to Cosmic Consciousness with Cassia. On this channel we discuss all aspects of the ascension process. I have a variety of services that I offer to assist in your awakening journey and you can find those listed in the description box below. Today we're going to be doing the daily reading for Saturday, June 12th, 2021. And today's a day that's ruled by the heart chakra and guided by universal fire. And it is a heart chakra day so we can utilize that rainbow meditation as we can every Saturday bringing that rainbow light down through the crown, down through the chakra system, exuding it out all of the layers of the aura and connecting with that universal heart energy. And if you guys go to 13moon.com, there is a global heart meditation that they do every Saturday, which I know some people have joined and I'm sure that it's really powerful and really, really beautiful. And today is all about that heart energy. We're working with the yellow spectral sun signature. And so this galactic signature is all about enlightenment. It's all about that Christ consciousness energy and that heart centered awareness. So really being present in our hearts today, really being present in the moment and allowing ourselves to be these pure and empty channels for universal life force to flow through for spirit to flow through we're wanting to connect with that life force energy today to really connect with the sun and connect with the element of fire so any way that you can utilize or work with the sun or the element of fire itself will be a really beautiful way to tap into the energies of today especially working working these things into meditation because with this energy of emptiness this em energy of enlightenment we are really seeking to empty the mind to empty to empty the, the the being in general and simply allow that that awareness to flow through us and allow that beautiful heart energy to flow through us into and out into the world let's see what else do we want to talk about with this energy we'll get into the affirmations the first one is, I dissolve in order to enlighten, releasing life. I seal the matrix of universal fire with the spectral tone of liberation. I am guided by my own power doubled. I am a polar kin. I transport the yellow galactic, galactic spectrum. And so with this dissolving energy, right, this liberating energy, this is all about that spectral tone. So this is dissolving, liberating ourselves, dissolving anything that no longer serves us so that we can move on to the next phase of our evolution. So really sitting in meditation today, really connecting with your own life force energy, with the life force of the planet, with the life force of the sun, with, with all of that beautiful energy that's streaming in and just allowing it to, to illuminate whatever it is that needs to be illuminated today. The sun is all about illumination. And so we may have realizations, we may have understandings that come through. And it's just bringing that, allowing that to filter into our awareness and then allowing that process of dissolution where it is that we need to allow something to dissolve so that it can change forms, right? We're working with fire, so this is energy, the energy of transmutation. The secondary affirmation is, I am a how, son. I am your devotee and your Christ consciousness. I give to you unconditional love and oneness. And the guidance for today is to focus on letting the radiance of your inner sun illuminate and empower your moments. Ascend into the center of your heart and access unconditional love. Bask in the power of your realized wholeness and freedom. Remember, we are never broken. We are never fractured. We are always whole. It's just us coming back into the awareness and the understanding of that and peeling back the illusion. And so today is a really powerful day for doing that. And the eclipse itself was a very powerful energy for peeling back illusion. So we're just continuing to capitalize on that energy as we move forward. And so, of course, we are going to read from the Astro Dream Advisor for today. And the Astro Dream Advisor says, I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. This mantra of yellow sun is a meditation for accessing the I am presence that contains great power and universal truth. Yellow sun is the mystery unveiled, the simplicity of unconditional love and limitless bliss. Known by many names, yellow sun is the solar lord, the mind of light, the center that is also your center. Yellow sun is your solar home, the great central sun. Yellow sun is a reminder that you are at every moment in the center of all that is. In your journey of remembrance, you are crafting a light body to return to a home in the stars that you never really left. Return as a child of the sacred to the great, great central sun. 
You are the crown of creation infused with the blueprint of solar mind. You are a God seed, the reflection of cosmic consciousness. You are love made visible. Ooh, I love that. Discover the simple secret encoded in yellow sun star glyph. You are unconditional love, the stone of indestructible liberation. Radiate that knowing in all your thoughts and actions. Love all of creation. Join the dance of light, the fundamental constant of nature, and shine forth the clarity of your true essence. There is great power in simply identifying with the light, as above, so below. You are in God, and God is in you. As you express unconditional love, you become more than you previously perceived yourself to be. You become illuminated, the full manifestation of your divinity. In the embrace of your humanity, accept yourself and others unconditionally. Magnify your full presence. Yellow sun will come in, my in myriad forms to assist you. Be limitless. Accept and understand the nature of judgment, fear, light, and dark within yourself and others. Love and accept yourself as, and others as you are, freed from previous boundaries. You are the dawning of the solar age. As you move toward your core of light, you will find a clear light awareness that is innately innocent. In this place, the mind is restored to its original state of receptivity. Clarity and freedom become expressions of being, and bliss becomes the body. At this core of light, a new reality is born. From the union of the divine masculine and feminine is birthed the solar androgyny of cosmic consciousness. Ooh, that's good. Now we find ourselves in a great awakening. We have the opportunity to retrace our steps, to return to union with original cause. We who have deepened the illusion of separation are now poised to retrieve what seemed to be lost forever. Through the gift of rebirth and ascension, we are reclaiming our original state of union with God. We are going home. The process of rebirth and ascension can be viewed simply as the raising of the vibratory rate of the earth and her children. It is embodied in the state of consciousness that knows the self as divine. The circlet or crown is a symbol of recognizing and knowing that divine self, that divine self. So the crown as a sacred tool is a universal symbol of the completion of a circle of self empowerment and self authority. Full ascension is the freedom to take your physical form with you to other planes and dimensions. In preparation for the ascension, there is an opening and clearing of your light seals and chakras. If you choose to walk this path, know that in the embodiment of your I am self, you will learn to accept all things unconditionally, forgiving and releasing all judgments of yourself and others. The activation of solar mind and ascension is already in progress. In divine fusion, you are becoming the one body of the ascension. Open your heart as a flower to the sun and become the same love that holds universes together. Oh, that's so beautiful. Open your heart as a flower to the sun and become the same love that holds universes together. That's powerful. And tone 11, the spectral tone, is about change, disintegration, letting go, stripping away, and complexity moving to simplicity. 11 is the ray of dissonance, the foundation of self combined with the foundation of essence self, catalyzed by the point of unity. 11 is the process of disintegration, stripping away the layers down to your core essence. Unity, the great illuminator, is transforming patterns and structures, freeing you from things that no longer serve your emerging wholeness. Look through the surface appearances of your process. Let complexity dissipate, becoming the blessing of simplicity. With the spectral tone of 11, cherished ideals, beliefs, and images of all kinds are being brought up for you to re-examine, illuminate, and transform. Examine what appears dissonant in your life. Let go. Embrace the disintegration process without resisting or judging it. The rigid walls of your resistance are being broken down. Going through your resistance and boundaries prepares a space for greater wisdom. You are becoming an open system. Anything that defines you is being stripped away. Expect clearing and change. As your facade crumbles and your walls come tumbling down, the true illumination of self bursts through. Really powerful energy, you guys. Really powerful energy. And remember that 11 tone, right? That is a master number as well that we're working with with that tone today. As for the astrology, whoops, hold on, guys. I had my um, my personal chart pulled up there. i got to clear that out. <clears throat> Every once in a while, I like to look and see what the energies are doing uh, in my chart currently. All right, so for today, we have the moon who has just passed through a conjunction with Venus. 
And so we're still going to be uh, feeling this energy today. And it's really interesting because the moon has conjuncted Venus and now she's moving forward. And tomorrow the moon will be in conjunction with Mars. And so moving through the feminine into the masculine, we have Mars entering Leo today. And so this is putting a little more pep in our step. There's that nice fiery energy, that charismatic energy. Mars really feels at home in the fire signs, right? He rules the fire sign of Aries. And so in Leo, Mars is very expressive, very able to, very confident and able to go after his goals. Very uh, just uh, in his vibe, in his zone, really thriving. And so we're going to feel this energy, this momentum beginning to pick up now that Mars is in the sign of Leo. And we are going to have a conjunction of Mars and Venus next month. So that's going to be really powerful. I think that's around the 14th or the 15th of July. Actually, I believe it may be, I believe it may be during the new moon, so it may be around the 9th of July. I don't know, it's somewhere in there, and uh, I haven't looked back over it in a little bit, so I don't know how long they're going to be conjunct. Uh, but yeah, it's it, that's a big energy. That's a big energy of the masculine and the feminine coming together. And so right now they're kind of doing a little dance, right? Venus is kind of trailing behind Mars a little bit. She is still in the beautiful, beautiful sign of Cancer. Still very, very flowing, very feeling, very feminine, right? Very much in her feminine. And now Mars very much in his masculine in the sign of Leo. But Venus will be catching up. She will be moving into the sign of Leo as well. And they'll be meeting in that, that nice, fiery, creative energy. So that's going to be a big portal of creation that we're going to be experiencing with the next new moon. Uh, yeah, just really, really big energies. But right now we have the moon, and she's been talking to Venus today. They're still in conversation, even though she is reaching uh, close to a midpoint between between the two. Uh, not quite a midpoint yet. She's still much closer to Venus than Mars, uh, but as of right now. But that's this, and there's also a gentle trine to Neptune going on today between the moon and Venus and Neptune. So this is a very dreamy energy. It's a very romantic energy. It's a very open and receptive energy. We're, we're really wanting to connect today. We're really wanting to daydream. We're wanting to enjoy the people in our lives, enjoy the relationships in our lives, just enjoy our life and all the beauty inherent in it. And really, uh, just sink into that feeling today. Allow yourself to to experience that. Allow yourself to open up like that lotus flower, right? Um, open your petals to the sun, as I think the reading might have said. Because it's, it's just a beautiful day for all of that. We still have the sun conjunct Mercury, which is uh, that, that energy that we experienced during the eclipse. And what a powerful, powerful eclipse that was. And so, of course, we're still... The first half of eclipse season, many people would say is over. The intensity of that first part is 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 beginning to wane now. However, this is a three-part eclipse, right? And the third part doesn't come until December. So we're going to be in these energies and beyond December, really, because the effects last months in advance after as well. So really propelling us into the new year. And, of course, we, uh, we have another eclipse as well coming up in, I believe it's October... Uh, you'll, we'll, when we get there, we'll get there. There is another one. Check out the Eclipse Season 2021 video if you want more uh, detailed information with better dates on that because I have it all in that video. But So we're still in these energies, but the intensity is releasing a little bit. Although now we are, of course, building up or going to be beginning to build up toward that 7-7 seven, seven portal and then that 8-8 eight, eight portal, the Lion's Gate portal in August. So still, of course, always a lot of powerful energies, but we're getting a little breather right now. So today's the day to really sink into that, to take that deep breath and just enjoy these idealistic, romantic energies that we are feeling. Uh, with this Sun conjunct Mercury, there's still a lot of mental activity going on. This really ramps up our mental activity, and Mercury is in retrograde, so we're still, our perspectives are still flipping. We're still seeing things from different angles, right? Especially in that very mentally active sign of Gemini. So just allow those realizations and understandings and the different thoughts to continue to, to roll through the mind, but don't attach to any of them today. Don't attach. Take in all the information, but don't get don't get too attached to anything that's coming through. Just allow it to continue to filter in and out of your consciousness. 
And I think that's really all I want to say about the astrology. We do have the, lo the nodes in a loose conjunction to Juno right now. And what do we have going on here? Yeah. Yeah, in a loose, we have Juno loosely conjunct the south node. And we have the north node uh, opposing that. And so that's an interesting energy in and of itself as well, where it's really, uh, there is definitely a theme for many, and this was present during the eclipse as well. And I don't think I talked about this in the eclipse videos, but we talked about it a little bit on the new moon, new moon manifesting ceremony, uh, which will be going on next month. I will be in Sedona, Arizona for the new moon. Uh, that's going to be the first night of my of my retreat that I'm going to. So I won't be I won't be able to take part in that. But everyone else who throws that still will be. So you guys are of course always welcome to use those links. Uh, the same links as always to join that with the new moon. And why was I talking about the new moon? I shouldn't have thrown myself off track. Oh yes, Juno. And so there is an element of relationships. Really looking at past energies and relationships. We may have people coming back in especially with Mercury in retrograde right now, or just re really reevaluating and seeing and understanding what is it that we want in a partnership? Was it that, what is it that we have received in the past? And how did that jive with us or not jive with us? What have we learned? And what are we now ready to release, allow to dissolve, especially today with that, with that uh, spectral tone, in order to move into a better, deeper, and more fulfilling manifestation of relationship in our lives? Okay, what are we going to do for cards today? Okay, we'll do some Intuit Oracle. Clear. Let's get some guidance for today. These cards are so fun. I really love them. Some energy for today. And so, yes, uh, tomorrow I will uh, be unable to do a video. So just to give you guys a heads up on tomorrow, we are going to have that moon conjunct Leo energy. And so tomorrow is going to be an energy where we're really going to uh, be desiring emotional appreciation. Uh, we're, we're, we're definitely we're going to be needing and wanting to express ourselves, to express our love, to express our our innermost uh just express who we are in the world. And we're really going to want to, we're going to be in that loving energy, but we're going to want to express that. And we're going to want to have that reciprocated or appreciated. So we may be a little bit sensitive tomorrow uh, if we don't get in what, get a return for what we're putting out or if we're not seen and appreciated uh, in our, in all of our beauty and splendor. And so, uh, just to be aware of that, if there is, if there is, uh, people may be a little bit more touchy. So just shower your friends with love and affection and just understand that we all need that. And, but m first and foremost, we can always give that to ourselves. So on the days where we are not receiving that from others, those are great opportunities to really go within and find that love and appreciation and validation within ourselves. It'll also be a highly creative day, so a great day to start a creative project, especially with Mars just entering Leo today and still being very fresh in those energies. It's a great initiating energy. All right, so we have the lighthouse and the elephant coming out. So, the, yeah, I'm, as I'm seeing the elephant, elephant, I'm thinking of Ganesha. Especially where the lighthouse can sometimes, it can be guidance, but it can also be obstacles. But it can also be safe passage, right? So I'm feeling this as us really receiving guidance today. There's really strong guidance coming through for us. And there's obstacles. It's almost like things that we perceived as obstacles in the past are dissolving right before our eyes. And what we're not realizing or understanding maybe completely is that the reason that this is happening is because we have had a major shift. Even if you don't feel it, even if you don't recognize it, even if you don't know it and it's not in your conscious awareness, with this, this uh, first pair in this Eclipse series that we've had, all the energies that have just occurred and are continuing to occur as Mercury continues its retrograde, we have shifted, each and every single one of us. And so our outer reality is beginning to shift as well to match, even if we're not consciously aware of everything that has shifted on the inner plane. And so there's just obstacles literally being removed. And so if you are, 
if you are um, praying for something like that, right? You've been really, really uh, praying hard, asking, desiring for those obstacles to be removed. First of all, Ganesha is coming through saying, call on me. And second of all, this is understanding that those things in the perfect divine timing, those obstacles will be removed. So if there is an obstacle in your way right now, this is not the time to try to force your way through it. It's the time for you to pray. It's a time for you to get quiet, go into meditation, pay attention to the synchronicities, pay attention to the ways that your guides are speaking to you and trying to help you understand, right? Because for some people, it's sort of like that energy of like God's rejection is God's protection. If something's going on right now, if something is feeling blocked, allow it to be. Don't try to bulldoze through it. There's a reason. So just get quiet so that you can, you can understand the reason why you can learn the lesson that's inherent in that apparent struggle. And then through that process as well, those obstacles will be naturally removed, right? And we have the moon here, which is all about the subconscious, the intuition, recognition, this is also that beautiful, sensual, romantic energy that we were talking about coming through. But this is the energy of use your intuition to understand what is the warning that is being that is being told to you? What is the message? Right? I see there's lucid dreams is in here too, and the moon is all about dreams as well. So I'm feeling like some people, you may be receiving messages in your dreams as well. For some people, there's an obstacle in your path, and the reason it's in your path is because there's a message that you're not listening to. And as soon as you listen to the message, the obstacle is removed. It's that simple. That simple yet that complex, right? And that's why it feels complex. We have the clouds here. There's all that confusion, all of that misunderstanding, right? All of that, um, this would be like the, uh, the more elusive side of the mood. This is more of that Mercury retrograde square Neptune energy coming through. But it's all about your thoughts. Your thoughts uh, it's clearing those thoughts. Your thoughts are like the clouds running across the skyscape. If you can get quiet enough to clear those clouds, clear those thoughts, the understanding will come through. It's a get out of your head kind of energy. And then we have the mortar and pestle and the albatross. Yeah. So this is making something good out of something that appeared bad. Right? The mortar and pestle is all about alchemy. It's all about breaking things down, making something else. The albatross can be a good open, omen or it can be the opposite. Shifting your perspective once again, seeing how something that you perceived as something negative is actually something positive. So really shifting that perspective right now, really taking advantage of these Mercury retrograde energies to allow the perspective to be shifted. That's what they're saying, like your biggest obstacle isn't an outer thing, it's inner. It's manifested on the outside, but it's an inner obstacle that your guides, your angels, uh, the energies right now are trying to assist you in clearing. But in order to clear the obstacle, you have to clear your head. You have to clear your mind. You have to be willing to see things from a different perspective, from that illuminated perspective. Be present, hummingbird. Lift out of negativity. Right? See the positive. See the gift. See the blessing. There is a gift and a blessing in everything. All of the struggles that we've all been going through, as all of these belief systems have been revealed, as all of these deep, these deep core wounds have been showing themselves, it's all for a higher purpose. So just really be present with whatever is coming up today. And even if you're re watching this reading right now and you're like, my obstacle hasn't been removed. It's still right there. And I understand you're saying it's within, but it's very clearly without as well. And I don't like this is I don't see this happening for me. I don't see how this is going to be resolved. Right. I don't see how this is going to be dissolved. It's like, don't worry about all of that today and just do your best to be present and to enjoy the moment however you can. Just be more present in this moment. That's how we get out of our thoughts. That's a big part of that energy. Take yourself out of that moment and bring yourself back into this one. And if you can just practice be making yourself present over and over and over again, that is mindfulness. And when we are in that place of mindfulness, when we are in that place of full presence, 
the monkey mind is not functioning. And when the monkey mind quiets, that's when those realizations come through. And that's when those energies can be dissolved. Then we have the letter coming out. Interesting. Tell me more. We have the mice and the magnifying glass. So if somebody has received communication re recently or is about to receive a communication, some sort of communication or information that really uh, stresses you out, it may be that you're receiving communication about, uh, about, about money, about some sort of loss, about some, some, something, and it's going to be different for different people, something that really causes you an incredible amount of stress and worry. Uh, you're being asked to get more information because whatever information you're receiving is not like you're not getting all the information yet. So try to table the stress and the worry as much as you can until you until you get all the information about the situation that you need. This is also the energy of like somebody, somebody communicating to somebody, but they're not telling you everything you need to know. They're only telling you bits and pieces. And so not to, and there's two 27s here, 2727, uh, with a 23 in the middle. 272327. Two, 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 oh, yeah, and then these are both, the uh, two of these cards are, are sevens as well. So a lot of numerology in these cards. But, yeah, don't jump to any conclusions. Don't allow your mind to, to run away with you because you still don't have all the information about the situation yet. And this is, once again, where you uh, you do your best to be present. You do your best to be present. You do your pre best to uh, pay attention to the guidance that you're receiving. Pay attention to what your intuition is telling you. Because the facts, like, you don't have all the facts right now. And then we have the tornado and the whip. Okay. So, yeah, this is a lot of intensity. This is arguments. Uh, the information that you're receiving may, uh, may cause an argument, may cause some sort of breakdown. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of tense energy involved in this. Any other information before we go to maybe the Moonology deck I'm thinking? Let's see what these have to say. We got two no cards that came out here. We also have the energy of things developing over time. And so somebody is also being urged to wait on something. To wait on something because it's not ready yet. So not to make any snap decisions about things right now. To really pull back your energy to let the situation develop because the situation isn't completely developed yet. You don't have all the information. The situation isn't developed yet. You don't want to, uh, it's sort of like, almost like the straw that broke the camel's back kind of energy, except the situation hasn't even finished developing yet. So there's more to come. There's, there's more to come. And you have the New Beginnings card at the end here, so I'm not sure what that means. Uh, something will shift form, it feels like. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know if that's going to make sense to anyone. Let's pull a couple Moonology cards for guidance around this. Clear. This situation. This no, I feel kind of just like we said, is like don't make any don't make any snap decisions, don't make any jaw to don't come to any final conclusions. Uh, 
because there's still more there's still more that needs to develop there's still more that needs to be understood about whatever this situation is but it's definitely a volatile there's a volatile energy to it so we have emotions are running high which we knew right we have you are good enough full moon in virgo Adjustments are required, third quarter moon. A new start is coming, and the end of a tough cycle approaches. So there is a new start. There, we got the new beginnings and the new start card twice, right? And so there is, like, this energy, whatever is going on here, like, the feeling that I'm getting is, like, it's not going to be going on forever, Jesus, sorry. There's like a gigantic fly that's buzzing around my room. It's very distracting. I'm pretty sure it's a fly. Um, he's totally stealing my attention right now. Uh, so that he could be a messenger. Uh, the fly on the wall is what I'm thinking, which is really interesting. You know that saying, like, I wish that I could be a fly on the wall? Uh, yeah, so I don't know if that... I don't know if that plays into anything. That's just kind of... Um, popped into my mind but um yeah this energy is going to shift and change with the new beginnings and the the new moon card here there's definitely uh whatever is going on just allow 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 it to continue to progress the way it's going to progress without without being like overly attaching to a conclusion about uh, like we said, the information that's coming in, Mercury retrograde, square Neptune. We're getting some new information. We're not getting it at all. So we're just, we're, we're taking it in. We're observing it. We're observing our reactions to the information that is coming in, right? Because that's telling us a lot about things that we need to learn about ourselves. And this is the energy of... This is the energy of self-worth right here with the full moon in Virgo. You are good enough, right? You are worthy. So if whatever this situation is, is causing somebody to second guess their worth, to second guess whether they're capable of something, whether, uh, whether they have what it takes, whether they, whether they deserve it, whether they are worthy, you absolutely are. And so don't allow, this is like the energy of not allowing our insecurities to get the best of us right now. And really just continuing to, to, to better ourselves, right? Virgo energy is the energy of, of purification, right? It is the energy of the virgin. It's the energy that's always seeking to make the self better. So how can you continue to work and grow within yourself? Those are those adjustments, how can we continue to make those internal and external judgments in our own worlds and not focus that energy so much externally? Not be so worried about what's hap going on externally. Be more worried about what the where we do have the control, which is within ourselves. And we have prosperity lies ahead. And so positive, there is positive energy on the horizon. There is fresh new energy. Just allow things. Try to... Try to dial the pot back down to a simmer instead of letting it boil over that's sort of the energy that i'm feeling here yeah 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 and if if you take this time to really go within if you take this time to really pull back to not jump to conclusions to not crack that whip right uh and you instead continue to heal and to grow and to really uh, just pay attention to what's going on and what this what this news, this communication, this information is uh, triggering within you. You can have a massive breakthrough within yourself that shifts absolutely everything in your reality. All right. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. 
how today's energies are resonating with you. There are links down below to donate if you feel so moved to do so. And of course, my email is down below with a description of the different services that I offer. If you'd like a personal reading, if you'd like an energy healing, a theta healing, any of the things I do, um, send me an email. Let me know what you have going on and we can figure out what the best fit for you is at this time. So much love, so much appreciation for every single one of you. Have a beautiful Saturday and have a beautiful Sunday as well. Bye.